Good afternoon, I'm Eddie here with your afternoon weather update. Tonight we're going to watch an area of low pressure pass just east of the Avalon Peninsula and this is going to bring some relatively interesting weather to southeastern Newfoundland as we go into the overnight period. We're looking at Futurecast right now and you can see by 8 o'clock the weather across eastern is still fairly quiet. It's between 8 and midnight the rain begins to move in. However, enough cold air is going to begin to kind of work and on the western side of this low that the rain is going to begin to change to wet snow over the Beeren Peninsula and around the Clarenville area around midnight and then that rain snow line going to crash eastward late tonight as the area of low pressure does eventually pass to our north. Some parts of the Avalon may see a little bit of snowfall overnight, but it looks like if we're going to see any meaningful accumulation overnight into tomorrow morning, it's going to be from Clarenville points north and a little bit west. And even there, we're talking about a few slushy centimeters of new snow. Throughout the day tomorrow, we are going to see some snow across northeastern Newfoundland through midday, but snow will also develop across western and southwestern areas in the afternoon, which could make travel conditions late tomorrow a little on the slippery side. Snowfall totals over the next 24 hours. As you can see, west of the Avalon is where the bulk of the action is going to be. We'll see some on the west coast tomorrow between 5 and 15 centimeters, obviously higher amounts in the high terrain. And overnight into tomorrow morning, the highest amounts are going to be around the northeast coast from just northeast of Gander towards Cape Friels and about as far west as Twillingate, where between 5 and 10 or 12 centimeters looks like it will fall overnight. In Labrador, we see snow getting organized overnight and beginning to dip to the south. Conditions on the Trans-Labrador Highway are going to be slippery and snow-covered, as is often the case this time of year for tonight and through a good chunk of the day tomorrow. But throughout the day tomorrow, that snow should sink south and pretty much wind down along most of Labrador, or throughout most of Labrador, rather. Snowfall totals next 24 hours. Nothing super impressive, but along the coast, some areas are going to pick up between 15 and 30 centimeters. And because of that, Environment and Climate Change Canada has issued a blowing snow advisory for the coast of Labrador because essentially it looks like along with that snow, we are going to see some gusty wind speeds as well, potentially gusting as high as 90 kilometers per hour. And that will be in effect through at least early tomorrow morning. That's your afternoon update. All I can tell you for now, there's also uh, another system that I'm, I started talking about yesterday coming in for Friday night, Saturday, and maybe even into early Sunday across eastern Newfoundland. Looks like it is going to be a snow producer. The question is, where is the heaviest snow going to be, and when will it snow at all? We'll talk about that in more detail tonight, coming up on the evening news hour at 6 o'clock in first edition at 5.30. We'll see you then. Until then, have a great day.